when you are ready to give up, who said that God was still on your side. Come on now. Somebody had a John who reminded you that you are still more than you have become. And praise God for the times we have become John and not just received a John. Somewhere behind the scenes, I believe John was ministering to Peter when Peter was ready to give up. Have you ever been at a time when you were just ready to give up? You tried as hard as you could and it didn't work. You kept on working and working and working and working and nothing seemed to work. And you felt like you had let God down. You let yourself down. You let your family down and just felt like there was no reason to keep on going. Praise God he loves you enough because there's a John on the way to remind you that you are still more than you've become. That there's a John on the way that to remind you that you may have made a mistake but you still are a mighty woman and a mighty warrior God. There's a John on the way to this whole idea somebody has a John in our lives. When you were ready to give up, somebody called you up. When you were ready to give up, somebody sent you a tweet. When you're ready to give up, somebody hit you up on Facebook. When you're ready to give up, they did the old-fashioned way. Nobody says let us. But when you're ready to give up, somebody reminded you that you are no longer this failure, that you have favor from God. Has anybody ever had a John in here in your life that showed up right on time? Anybody had a John in your life that reminds you things are better? But not only do we receive a John, we have to also be a John for somebody. We got to find out when somebody's down. There's somebody in our life right now who is going through I don't know what. We got to remind them God has not forsaken you. Somebody's going through some things right now. God has not turned his back on you. Things may not look good right now, but I'm going to remind you that God is still almighty and an awesome and a good God. Can you give God a hand clap of praise for the John in life? So first of all, you got some believers who live and act like we're in poverty. Just being poor here. Then we got then we got people like Peter who walk in pride. There are a whole lot of Christians who walk in pride. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? There are a lot of Christians who, I, not just the world, there are a whole lot of Christians who walk in pride. There are a lot of Christians who walk in pride. And, and, and you know what John, what Luke 12 says, whoever shall exalt himself shall be erased. But if I humble myself, God will lift me up. And then we talk about John being, what was the key there? Productive, But the, the, the most important figure here is God. And then at that point, we have power. We have power in the name of Jesus. We have power in the name of Jesus. There is 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 power. So when the people came and started looking at Peter and John, Peter and John says, why are y'all looking at us? Like it was by our own power and by our own strength. This is not by my power. It's not by my might. It's by the presence of the living God. I love this whole idea that they gave glory. They gave honor to the Lord. So let me just give you the R again. So first of all, the R we have was the man was looking. In verse 5, do what? Receive something. But then write down verse 7. He received.